TFT。What's happening to me? What's happening to me? Turbo watched his favorite race car driver, Guy Gagne, and fantasized that he was a famous speedster too. Everybody's got that one thing that makes them happy. And for me, it's terrifying, terrifying blazing speed, Turbo said to a pretend reporter. But Turbo's brother Chet didn't understand Turbo's need for speed. He told Turbo to get some sleep. The next day, Turbo and Chet went to work at the tomato plant. And so begins another wonderful work week at the plant, moaned Turbo over lunch. Later. Turbo imagined the overripe tomatoes were actually race cars. The other snails laughed, and Chet urged Turbo to give up his racing dreams. I can't help it. It's in me, Turbo explained. Back at the garage, Turbo was engrossed in race highlights. I love you, Guy! Turbo exclaimed while sipping on an adrenal load. He didn't notice the can fall over, spilling fizzy liquid all over the TV's power cord. Come back to me, TV! Turbo pleaded before it fell and smashed on the floor. The next day, a massive tomato ripened and fell. Before the snails could feast, Chet reminded them it was gardener day. Disappointed, the snails turned away. You're quitting? Just like that? Turbo exclaimed. Turbo pretended that he was in a televised race against the lawnmower pushing gardener. He crawled straight for the tomato, but the lawnmower was approaching fast. Chet sprayed Turbo with a hose, saving him from the mower's sharp blades. Dejected, Turbo wandered to a highway overpass. He watched with envy as the traffic sped past below. Suddenly, a truck rushed by, plunging Turbo off the bridge in a rush of wind. Turbo landed on the hood of a drag car just as it throttled forward in a street race. He was exhilarated by the awesome speed. Then he was sucked into the engine where his body was flooded with nitrous oxide. Turbo shot out of the drag car tailpipe. Dazed, he slunk back to the garage. He peeked at his reflection and noticed bright lights shining from his eyes. Then his shell flashed red and screeched like a car alarm. Okay, what's happening to me? He asked nervously. Back at the plant, Chet taught the snails to tuck and roll when in danger. Suddenly, Turbo's antenna picked up a radio station, and music blared from his mouth. Embarrassed, he snuck off by himself. In the garden, a boy on a tricycle loomed over Turbo. Suddenly, the speedy snail raced up the front wheel and accidentally flung the trike through the air. 
It crashed right into the tomato plant. The plant foreman fired Turbo and Chet. Chet, I'm so sorry. Turbo apologized. But before Chet could respond, a crow scooped him up and flew away. Turbo raced through the streets after Chet. Finally, the crow landed on the roof of a taco truck. Turbo knocked Chet out of harm's way and the crow flew off. Then, a man named Tito slammed a jar down, trapping the brothers. Tito took the brothers to the Starlight Plaza and placed them on a makeshift racetrack. Other racing snails waited on the starting line. A little far from home, aren't you? Garden snail. Chided Whiplash, their leader. For all of their bluster, the racing snails were just as slow as ordinary snails. Turbo revved his shell and blasted off, <laughs> winning the race by a mile. Tito was amazed. Later that night, Whiplash invited Turbo to join his crew. First one to the top of that shooting star wins. Whiplash challenged, and the racing snails took off. They glided along electrical wires, easily beating Turbo to the sign. The next day, Tito painted a message about Turbo on his restaurant's billboard. Okay, today? Everything changes, he exclaimed. Despite Tito's enthusiasm, the billboard didn't help business. Dos Bros Tacos and the entire Starlight Plaza had no customers that day. It doesn't make sense. With my brains and your speed, we should be destined for greatness, right? Tito asked. Just then, a truck with an image of Guy Gagné on it pulled up. Turbo sped around an Indy 500 logo, leaving blue trails glowing on the truck. Tito understood. Turbo wanted to race in the Indy 500. I want to enter him in the Indy 500! Tito excitedly told his brother, but Angelo scoffed especially because there was a $20,000 entry fee. I'm telling you, this snail crawled into our lives for a reason. Tito argued. Did you hear that, Chet? This guy believes in me, Turbo said. Chet was unconvinced and told Turbo to slow down. Slow down? Are you kidding? I'm never going slow again. Turbo responded defiantly. Tito tried to raise money from the other shopkeepers, but the entry fee was too expensive. All right, team, snail up! Whiplash called. The racing snails jumped to action, diverting a bus full of tourists into the Starlight Plaza. The tourists generated more business than the Starlight had seen in years, while Turbo showed off his racing skills. The tourists loved it, so the hopeful shopkeepers pitched in for the entry fee. Everyone piled into the taco truck and they set off for Indianapolis. Along the way, the shopkeepers made Turbo a new racing shell. Oh, wait! Suited and booted, gooted and loaded, dipped and whipped! Smooth move admired. When the team arrived at the Indy 500, Turbo was awestruck by the racetrack he had dreamt about his entire life. Suddenly, a roar rose from the crowd. Turbo saw Guy Gagné's red car tearing around the track. Gagné, he marveled. That's Gagné's best time yet, Turbo said as the team watched Gagné's time trials. The team's excitement turned to worry as they watched the world's best driver. Turbo's never gone that fast, Tito said to himself. Tito ambled into the registration office. The race official eyed Tito suspiciously and asked the name of his racing team. Dos Bros Tacos and Company. 
Tito replied. The racing official wouldn't let Turbo enter the race, so Turbo dragged Tito towards a crowd of reporters interviewing Gagne. The racing snails distracted some security guards while Turbo sped out onto the track. The stunned crowd watched as Turbo circled the track. 226! Ha-ha! <laughs> That's fast enough to qualify! Whiplash cheered. Turbo was a sensation. But the CEO of the Indy 500 hadn't decided if he would be allowed to race. The team anxiously awaited the news at a crowded press conference. Please say yes, please say yes, please say yes, Turbo repeated. Guy Gagné decided to help. He argued that no dream was too big and no dreamer too small. The CEO made his final decision. Turbo would race in the Indy 500. Later that night, the racing snails celebrated. Hey, player, the party up here! Smooth move, said to Turbo. Chet sulked along. He was afraid that Turbo was risking his life for an impossible dream. All of these people, they believe in me. Guy Gagné believes in me. Why won't you? Turbo asked in disappointment. Turbo went for a walk. He saw light coming from a garage and snuck inside. It was Gagné's garage! He stared in wonder at Gagné's legendary race car. I think I'm in love, he whispered. Abruptly, Guy himself appeared. At first, he was friendly. But then he mocked Turbo like the snails at the plant used to do. Guy told him that dreamers have to wake up. The next morning, Tito drove the taco truck onto pit lane. Turbo was still hurt by his conversations with Chet and Gagné, but Tito cheered him up. This is it, little amigo. This is our moment, our time. Chet was so nervous, he couldn't watch. He sat by himself until a boy snatched him up and dragged Chet to a box in the stands. Turbo approached the starting line nervously. See you in the winner's circle, garden snail. Whiplash encouraged. Turbo took a deep breath, and then the race was on. Cars flew by Turbo on all sides. Their pure power pushed Turbo all over the track. Turbo struggling out there, the announcer observed. Turbo's team surrounded him at the pit stop. The racing snails hydrated, massaged, and pumped up Turbo with music. Now this is how it's done. Whiplash bragged. You know it. Burn agreed. Now get out there. Snail up, baby. Whiplash coached. With that, Turbo blazed away. He raced by, around, and under race cars as he made his way to the front of the pack. He is hot on Gagne's heel. The announcer exclaimed. A race car scraped against the wall, sending rubber marbles flying across the track. That rubber peeling off the tires could be a minefield for the drivers, the announcer cautioned. Gagne forced Turbo into the rubber. He lost control and smacked into the wall, cracking his shell. Turbo wobbled off the track and into the pit stop. I'm sorry, little amigo. It's over, Tito said sadly. But Turbo shot back onto the racetrack. Despite his cracked shell, he dashed to the front of the pack. He leapt into Gagne's wheel well, propelled himself over the car and into the lead. Turbo is determined to hold on to his lead! The announcer said excitedly at the start of the final lap. While Turbo was cruising to victory, Gagne was determined not to lose to a snail. He drove high into the rubber and overtook Turbo. The rubber marble shredded his tire, however, and he lost control. Gagne crashed into the other race cars, causing a massive pileup. 
Turbo emerged from the wreckage only inches from winning. Let's finish this, Turbo said, but his shell was too damaged and his powers of speed were gone. Chet escaped and floated towards the track on a balloon. Down on the racetrack, Chet encouraged Turbo to finish the race. He was proud of his brother. Gagne pushed his car towards the finish line while Turbo crawled ahead. Desperate, Gagne raised his boot to stomp on Turbo. Thinking instinctively, Chet yelled for his brother to tuck and roll. At the last moment, Turbo ducked into his shell and rolled across the finish line. And Turbo wins it by a shell! The announcer shouted. Gagne fell to the pavement in exhaustion. It's like I always said, little amigo, you are amazing! Tito told Turbo. Back at the Starlight Plaza, Turbo and Whiplash watched the bustling shopping center. Like I said, your skills have truly paid the bills. Whiplash told his friend. The racing snails lined up for a friendly race. Chet now wore a custom ambulance shell. Turbo's injury was healed, and Tito had made him a new racing shell. At the starting line, Turbo revved his shell and zoomed off. My name is Turbo. I'm fast. <laughs>